filled by the Lord with a spirit of understanding, Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot, St. Bernard, a man consumed with zeal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I will pour out water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. O pour clean water on you, wash away all your sins. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads, and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they had found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be, will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. In the four Gospels, there are two different versions of the story of the great banquet. This is the one that goes very differently from the other one. God says to his people in Ezekiel, I will give you a new heart, and I will place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. You met earlier this week my French teacher from LaSalle, Bill Hornick, who had four delusions of grandeur from which everyone suffers, Number one was, I am the center of the universe. Number two, I am smarter than my parents and teachers. Number three is, I can get away with this. And the beautiful things about our hearts, the hearts that God has given to us, is that they are made for the infinite, because they were made in God's image and likeness. They were made by love, for love. And so when our hearts receive, or when we feed them with things that are less than infinite, they do not let us get away with it. Our hearts speak up in different ways. It can be in anxiety or in dissatisfaction. And they tell us, this isn't what I was made for. Stop feeding me with this. We can learn a lot of clever or really not clever ways to kind of cover over that reaction in our hearts um, so that we can get used to food that doesn't nourish us in a deep way. But our hearts really, they keep, they keep pushing out and leaping up when we feed them with what doesn't really satisfy us so that we don't get any excuses. This man in the gospel, the one who's thrown out of the wedding because he's the only one with no wedding garment on, that garment signifies a heart that's purified. We can be in church, at Mass, even receiving the Eucharist, 
but have our hearts be far away from Jesus. But the beautiful thing is that our hearts speak up, and God has made them that way. Not to let us get away with receiving fake love or with trying to fill up the emptiness in our hearts with things that don't satisfy us, He makes them to love beauty so that when we come across real love, when we come across something that is really beautiful or true or good, our heart wakes up. And God has given that to us as a a real gift and a consolation to keep us from running away from Him. Our job is to let our hearts throw us back to him. Even if we run to other things that aren't the Lord, to let the dissatisfaction that we experience make us realize, wow, I really was made for him. And what we receive when we come to the Eucharist, we receive literally in a beautiful way, God's heart. That is, the fullness of all of his love poured out for us in his body and his blood. And when we do that, he he replaces our delusions uh, with his vision. We stand as we offer our prayers and petitions before the Lord. For the church throughout the world, especially for the Pope, all bishops, and the whole faithful people of God, for courage and renewed strength, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all world, national, state, and local leaders that they will govern in humility and justice, in accord with the natural law. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, all those who feel abandoned or alone in any way, for God's comfort and for them to receive the protection and the healing that they need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are hungry in our communities, physically and spiritually. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died and those for whom this Mass is offered for Mary McMahon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And for your own intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you who deliver always on your promises, Hear these prayers that we make to you, trusting in your heart and your capacity to heal ours. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Deliver us, we pray, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that, strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love for your incarnate Word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for being here, and have a good day. Are you? I do. <laughs> <I'm hearing it. laughs>